some of you ask me if it does work to have the LED light and uh, the normal lights combined. So this was the normal backlight. Actually my backlight blew out the regular one that we put in. So luckily I have these ones and they work. They're from Osram, they do work. Let's just go with that one. guys first of all welcome back here to the channel we are in Cartaira in Portugal today I want to go on the ACT the Adventure Country Trail here in Portugal some of you guys recommended it to me because it's not as difficult as the TED and that sounds perfect to me since I'm what's going on they're fire. Shit. I'm now on my way to the supermarket, to the Intermarché, and we'll stock up on some food. So what we're going to do is we're approaching the official trail uh, backwards. So usually it goes from north to south, but we're already on the south. We're now going to a little town called uh, Casela Vela. This is where the trail ends, so this is where the trail starts for us. I'll see you there. So I left the town now and I'm now officially on the ACT The Adventure Country Trail and this section is section 5 and I'm going it the reverse way and it's supposed to be the one with the most off-road and a really cool one We are going up to Mora and it's 240 kilometers I think that will take us about six hours so we should make it before dark that is really cool all right guys there's nothing to it but to do it so let's do this Letting some air out of the tires since we're now off roading, that will be a good idea, I think. All right, let's do it. happens when you forget to screw tight your phone uh, luckily it was on the cable guys wow what a route here it is just amazing really <laughs> we're having the best view here It 
it is quite steep at some points. So, if you never did any off-road, that might be unusual for you. But man, it is great. <laughs> awesome guys, awesome. Sure guys, I don't know what that noise of the engine is. If you have an idea, let me know in the comments. Oh, Okay, that part is kind of rough now. Oh. And that noise only comes, it came once before, but now it came again, and now it's gone again. So I don't really, well, I don't really know what that could be. If it doesn't come back, all good, but at least, when I'm back in Berlin, I will let somebody look in the engine and see what's going on. Oh, rough terrain here, guys, rough terrain. Sixty kilometers to go, and I really think we started with the hardest part of the whole ACT, really, because now it is just beautiful, relaxed gravel road. 
just amazing. The weather is absolutely stunning. It's just a bit windy, but I can live with that. So far, really, the best day of riding. Incredible. I gotta admit though, that first bit, the first hour, uh, not two hours, like the first hundred kilometers, they were intense for me, like, because I'm not an off-road kind of guy, you know? I can do it with the Honda, that is awesome, but for me, it was really tough. Yeah, the sun goes down soon. I think in 40 minutes. And... Yeah, we still have more than an hour to go. haven't booked a hotel yet I'm not gonna camp tonight because I'm pretty knackered from that day so I think if I'm doing this kind of off-road stuff then I'm just gonna stay in the hotels they are not expensive here anyways I will find something for like 30 euros that's quite all right also works better for me with the video making because you you guys have to realize that I'm editing every video for every day right at the same night and the next morning before I go so that the videos are all done and when I get the chance I'll upload them all right this way and that totally also works in a tent, but it's quite more comfy in a hotel. Anyways guys, I'll see you at the hotel. What a day, but we made it. I found a hotel, 25 euro. That's pretty okay. It's run by a nice old lady. I think there's nobody else here, actually. That's the room. Nothing fancy. Bathroom. Shower. And a shower is much needed today. I'm pretty knackered, but yeah, what a day, hey. First day of the ACT and it was pretty, pretty intense really. The Honda gave me a little scare with that noise the engine made, but that was just that one time and it didn't happen again. So I don't know, I have to, I don't know, like, we'll just see, we'll just have to see. You guys will know first if something goes wrong. Anyways, thanks guys for watching don't forget to subscribe keep up with the whole journey and i'll see you guys tomorrow cheers